Well, welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading for March. And in this reading, I'm going to be looking at past, present, and future. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice for you. If you're interested in the extended reading, it will be linked below. I'm going to start off your reading with a couple of Oracle cards. One Oracle card, actually, to see what your channeled message is for March. Okay, Virgo, we have the runner. We have runner uh, runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, uh, listening to ego, okay? So for many of you, this is an inquiry about someone who either you're chasing or um, somebody's chasing you. I don't know. But there is a runner energy here, okay, in the month of March is what it's telling me. So let's uh, do your reading and let's see what's going on. Now, just keep in mind, uh, the sun is going to be in Pisces, which is your seventh house. So there could be a lot of things coming up about relationships coming up in March for you is what I'm getting. Ooh, okay. Past energy, current energy, your future. Okay. So your challenge for the month of March, Virgo, is the Five of Cups in reverse. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Queen of Wands in reverse. Okay. So your challenge in March has a lot to do with the Five of Pent, uh, the Five of uh, Cups. Excuse me can't speak for some reason. Five of cups in reverse here, which is telling me that for many of you, this is an emotionally um, withdrawn person who's emotionally withdrawn from you. This is a challenge. There's also some sort of sadness here, okay? There was maybe a sad situation that happened. This is about you trying to get over this situation, okay? It's challenging. It's difficult for you to get over this situation, but there's something here uh, trying to tell you that you know, it's time to get over this situation as hard as it may be. Uh, we're going to clarify and we're going to get some more information on this. So Virgo, in the past, you have the seven of pentacles, the world and the three of wands. Something here came to an end. Okay, the cycle closed out. I feel like there was a new beginning in the past. I feel like um, a lot of you were uncertain whether or not you wanted to move forward with a specific person here. The Three of Wands is telling me that for many of you, there was plans to move forward with this person and have a new beginning, but a lot of you were in your head about this in the past, okay? And this is possibly what led to things closing out between you and this person in the past. In the present moment, you have the Queen of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Page of Cups. Someone here in the present moment is offering love, okay? It's not a grandiose offer of love, but it is like, mm, I'm interested. There's maybe a little bit of flirting happening here. I see you wanting to work on things with someone, okay? For many of you, this has a lot to do with... Um, Maybe your work for some of you. We're going to clarify and we're going to see. In the near future, you have the Hangman, the Ace of Swords, and the Five of Swords. For many of you, there is clarity coming in in the near future why someone here hasn't been taking action towards you and why there's been conflict between you and this person. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, Virgo, is the Queen of Wands in reverse. You have the Judgment in reverse, and you have the uh, King of Cups in reverse. Somebody here didn't realize this connection, okay? Someone here didn't acknowledge the bond and the connection that you had with this person, okay? Um, I feel like for many of you, you rush things or you tried to rush things with this person in the past, or maybe this is something that you're going to be um, trying to do in the near future, but there's something here that doesn't work, okay? You're being called to look at a situation in your life when it comes to a specific relationship. There's elements in this relationship where things are not working, okay? This is what it's telling me in the near future. So let's do some clarification um, and let's see what's going on for you, Virgo. Okay, 
So the first card I'm going to clarify for you, Virgo, is the Five of Cups in Reverse. Five of Cups in reverse is clarified by V, Six of Swords, the Four of Wands, and the Eight of Wands, okay? So this has a lot to do with communication that is coming in about a relationship, okay? This is a relationship that you possibly moved away from or maybe someone moved away from you. This is about quickly getting over some sort of situation in the past that really affected your ability to move forward, okay? This is why it says... And this card's in reverse. It says, I will move forward when the time is right. So for many of you, it's difficult for you to move forward past some sort of maybe a betrayal or maybe someone lied. Um, it's hard for you to move past this. But if you do find the ability to move past this issue, these issues, I see something really great coming in here. I see communication and I see you really coming back into union with someone here that you are really connected to. Okay. So let's see in the past. <clears throat> you were overthinking something in the past and you were, uns you were unsure about moving into a new direction or making plans with this person in the past. Yeah, so the Seven of Pentacles is clarified by the Ten of Wands in Reverse, the Fool, and the Three of Wands in Reverse. See, you weren't sure about moving forward with someone, okay, in the future is what it's telling me. Um, you wanted to have a new beginning, but you were really unsure of this because you were afraid of responsibilities and burdens that may have been connected to this relationship in the past. So as a result of that, Virgo, things ended, okay, completely with this world card here. Let's clarify. Let's see why things ended for you in the past. Why did things end here in the past? Somebody felt here, Virgo, in the past with the uh, Knight of Pentacles that you moved really slowly. Maybe you didn't offer this person what they truly wanted. And this is why this person decided to focus on themselves and move forward in a new, in a new direction. Excuse me. So for many of you, there was, um, there was an ending here in the past. Okay. So in the present moment, you have the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords. This is somebody who's really logical, very smart. Okay, this could be somebody who's coming into your life right now. Let's clarify the Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is clarified by the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, the King of Swords in reverse, and the Knight of Cups in reverse. For many of you, um, some of you, this is not for all of you, but for some of you, you're choosing to possibly cut someone off or maybe someone is cutting you off because things are not working. There's something about things not working here with you and a specific person. Okay, or maybe this is people that are around you. For some of you, this is happening in the workplace. I don't know why I'm getting this message. This is a love reading, but sometimes work messages come up. So there's some sort of issue in um, <clears throat> the workplace for some of you. Let me clarify the Eight of Pentacles. So the Eight of Pentacles is clarified by the Queen of Swords, the Two of Swords in reverse, and the Five of Wands in reverse. Someone here is opening up, okay? Some of you are dealing with a Libra. I'm getting Libra, Aquarius, maybe another Virgo. Uh, this person is going to address something. There's something here about, I feel like this is your person. They're trying to address what is no longer working and how they can fix the situation because this person doesn't want to fight anymore, okay? This person has been very closed off to you, Virgo. Again, Runner. This is why you have the card Runner because Many of you are dealing with somebody who runs from issues. They run from problems, okay? And the reason why this is happening is one, either someone here feels like they're not getting enough love, 
from the other person. This is why they've become closed off. Or it could be the fact that something isn't working and there's been multiple conflicts in the past. And this person shows up in the present moment to um, bring truth and clarity to the situation. So I feel in the present moment, someone is running away from something, okay? Because something here that should have been resolved quite some time ago wasn't, okay? So this is what I see here. Now, in the near future, I see clarity coming for you. You've been waiting for this, the truth, clarity on why this person hasn't been taking action or why there's been conflict. Tell me about this clarity that Virgo is going to find out about in the near future. So Ace of Swords is clarified by the Death, the Temperance, and the Page of Pentacles. I think in the near future here, um, what you are seeking, Virgo, is you want to know if something is going to truly come to an end in order for you to have a new beginning, okay? You've been patient. There's something here you've been patient about. I see you making an offer to somebody. It's not going to be a huge offer, but it is a very subtle offer here. But again, there's a lot of um, uncertainty, again, like you had in the past. So I see to some extent that whatever has happened in the past with maybe this past person, there could be a new person coming in to your life because I see a lot of pages here. Um, whatever happened in the past is kind of trying to tell you that this could repeat itself in the near future. So there's something here in the present moment that you really need to, um, that you really need to acknowledge, okay? Because there's something here that you're learning in the present moment. And it's interesting because your reading is a little foggy. It's a little, it's a, it's a bit of a, um, I have to say your reading is a, it's a bit funny, okay? But what I am getting, I'm getting a very specific message. Some of you are dealing with an issue in your work okay or there's some sort of uh how do i put this there's some sort of misunderstanding or something that you need to resolve in your work this has a lot to do with your love life for some reason i don't know it's connected in some sort of way maybe you're dating somebody in the office i don't know but ultimately here there's something that you're learning i'm going to try to say this in the most laden of terms you're dealing with something in the present moment that has a lot to do with a lesson or you're learning something. It has a lot to do with cooperation and dealing with people. And once you kind of overcome this situation and learn from that, that is something that you're going to be able to apply to this situation in the near future because you want clarity on whether or not you should offer somebody love um, in the near future. So I'm going to clarify the hangman because I feel like there's someone here that's either keeping you, making you wait or you feel like you always have to chase this um, this person and they're always making you wait for some reason in the near future. Let's see why. Okay, so the hangman is clarified by the ace of swords in reverse, the nine of pentacles in reverse, and the three of cups in reverse. So for many of you, um, again, this could be a past person that you're wanting to reconcile with. But for many of you, you're assuming that maybe this reconciliation isn't going to happen because this person isn't taking action towards you. Okay, that's one. And number two, somebody here is not being clear with you in the near future. So a lot of you are entering into this phase of the runner and the chaser energy. So I feel for you, Virgo, it's a bit of a complicated reading but there is a lesson to be learned here okay there's a lesson to be learned here all right something told me to pick the card on top and look at that karmic relationship there's a lesson there's a lesson in March that's coming in for you you may not want to hear this but it is a warning okay whatever your experience in the present moment is really trying to open your eyes and a lot of you are going to get it some of you are going to get it some of you aren't okay but the message here for you is is that there's a reason why a certain relationship isn't working okay you're not realizing something judgment in reverse in the near future all right so let's get some advice for you that was a really hard message for me to get out but I was like we're gonna get to the bottom of it Virgo I know we will <laughs> we're gonna get there together don't worry <laughs> Jeez. Okay. Some, some messages are easier than others, but this one was a little challenging. So what is your advice? What is your advice? What is the advice here? Before you make an offer to someone, okay? Because there's an offer that you're going to make to someone here. Uh, your advice 
Virgo is the page of pentacles, the hierophant and the wheel of fortune. Before you decide to give an offer, it says here, I'm open to opportunities for personal growth. Some of you are offering this person something because you know that they can help you with your personal growth. Before you do that, think long and hard if this is something that you really want to commit to, because whatever it is that you're offering or you're giving to at first, it may seem small, but it could turn into something huge. Okay. So you need to be ready and you need to understand, understand and know that if you're offering something to somebody, it could turn into something big. It can it can potentially turn into a commitment of a lifetime that will change your life forever. Okay, so think long and hard before you decide to do this. Okay, so um, Virgo, this is what I have for you. I hope this helped and I will see you on the next one. Bye.